any conscience whatsoever. They just have no conscience. Not one of these people have ever said they were sorry for what they did. The Gulf War. In the lead up to the first Gulf War, the US government's Department of Energy found a unique way to deal with its mounting nuclear waste problem. Give it away free to the arms manufacturers. And make money from it, exporting these depleted uranium weapons to 29 foreign armies. The United States is Australia's largest customer for our uranium. So it is inevitable that it's our yellow cake that is ending up on distant battlefields as depleted uranium. Mum, you've got to see this. It's not just the mining. Yeah. It's what happens after it's been used. We send our uranium overseas mm. to make nuclear power and they use the waste to make bombs. It's our uranium that's killing people. Look at this. What we're seeing now in Gulf War veterans and Iraqis from um, Gulf War I is horrendous birth defects, which are increasing and they're even worse. The kind of birth defects, babies are being born now in Iraq that are just pieces of flesh. They have no head, they have no limbs. I don't even know what they are. I can't watch this. Oh, Brian, have you seen this? Did you, do you know about this? First I've heard of it. Thousands of tons of depleted uranium has now been dumped on Iraq, Afghanistan and the Balkans. Well, why don't you greenies figure out how we're going to pay the mortgage? Because frankly, I'm jack of it. I'm going to the pub. Graeme Creed's been following the storm front. Graeme, where did all this dust come from? It was a long way away from Sydney, Juanita. In fact, it originated in South Australia and a cold front with gale force winds reached between Woomera and Lake Eyre. Now, those dust measurements up in that region were around seven times higher than the levels that you would normally record for a severe dust storm. Well, just then, Alice springs into action. Starts to pack Bill a bong. You wouldn't believe it. The bong's broken. I said, Lord, how? Hey, man, somebody shouts, well, a didgeridoo. Turn that wanker off. The, but pollution was the highest that it has ever been recorded. Millions of tonnes of outback dust that blocked out the sun, clogged our lungs and turned Sydney into the red centre. Look, I'm 52. I've got stuff all super. I'm not giving up a 180 grand a year job for some bull dust. Fair sure. enough. As the crow flies, it's just 550 kilometres south to Adelaide from Olympic Dam, 1,000 kilometres to downtown Melbourne, and 1,650 kilometres to Sydney as the wind blows. So I said to Burma, what will we do about Nuller? He said, Nuller bores me to tears, leave him at home. We get the party at about two, walk straight out the kitchen to put some booze in it, but you wouldn't believe it. There's Burma's wife, Warra, sitting there trying to plant a puss. Now, I don't like to speak of the Warra, but I was shocked. I mean, how much can a koala bear? So I grabbed her here, flashed her So are we going? No. Pretty soon, air's rocks in and things... Turn this bloke up, he's pretty funny. This Indian girl, Marcy, yeah. goes every time. Well, Bill said he'd like a smoke. Nobody knew where the dope was stashed. I said, I think Marino's, but I was just spinning a bit of a yarn. Barry pulls a joint out of his pocket. Bill says, great, Barry Arifa. What is it, mate? Noots her heads, of course. Yes, me mate Adelaide I'm on me. It was a great joint too. Blue Mountains away and his three sisters. I said, chuck us the tally-ho, Bart. He said, they're out on the lawn. Seston, can you get them for us? Bernie said, it's OK, mate. Cheese apples. I'll get them for you. Just then, Roxby comes in. And within a second, Roxby downs a couple of beers. 
Well, just then, Alice brings into action. Starts to pack Bill a bong. You wouldn't believe it. The bong's broken. I said, Lord, how? Hey, man. Somebody shouts, will a didgeridoo? I said, mmm, 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 mmm. Maybe it'll have to. I look in the corner and there's Bass sitting there. Not getting into it, not getting out of it. I said, what, is Bass straight or something? Boomer said, no way, mate, he's a copper. I said, you're joking, mate, a copper? I'm getting out of here, let's go, Anna. She said, no way, I'm hanging around all gum leaves. And besides, I don't want to leave Jack around a party on his own. Have you seen him? I think he's trying to crack onto Woomba. He's already tried a Mount Isa and he'll definitely try to lead you, Australiana. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and good night. One deep, Angela Pamela, this rubbish, don't dig it.